The 18 electron rule is essentially the equivalent of the octet rule for transition metal compounds. A stable complex with the valence electron count of the next highest noble gas is attained when the sum of the metal d electrons, so this is what we're going to be doing today, summing the metal d electrons, the electrons donated from the ligands, and the overall charge, never forget the overall charge, because that's obviously the addition or subtraction of electrons, equals 18. So we have an 18 electron rule, and most organometallic compounds obey the 18 electron rule. OK, so I presented the rules. Now here they are in a Lancaster-like pedantic fashion. So I like to have a very simple recipe that we can follow in order to work out what an electron count is. Now first of all, we need to work out how many d electrons we've got in our system. Now how difficult can that be? Well, it's the group number. Okay, We're not interested, this is a really important point, we are not interested in oxidation states. Our methodology has nothing to do with oxidation states. So if titanium is in group 4, it donates 4 electrons to our complex. Iron is in group 8, it donates 8 electrons to our complex. What we have to do in organometallic chemistry is we regard our ligands as neutral radicals. Okay. Now when you were doing oxidation states, you had to break the bonds heterolytically. If you have a titanium carbon bond, when you're doing electron counting, you're doing a thought experiment that says I'm going to break that bond homolytically to produce neutral radical species. And if we break that bond, we have a titanium radical, neutral titanium radical, we have a neutral carbon radical. Now what we now need to know then is what ligand will donate how many electrons. So an alkyl ligand is a one electron donor. A chloro ligand is a one electron donor. Examples of two electron donors are anything that bonds through a dative bond. So if you had in your organometallic complex a water ligand or in your organometallic complex a phosphine ligand, those bond via a lone pair on the oxygen or the phosphorus, those are two electron donors. And also, if you have an alkene ligand, an alkene ligand binds face on, donating the pair of electrons in the pi bond. So an alkene ligand is a two electron donor. Okay, now if you've got one alkene, it's a two electron donor. If you've got two alkenes, it's a four electron donor. If you've got three alkenes, then it's a six electron donor, and if you've got four alkenes, then that's going to be an eight electron donor. Let's never, ever forget the charge on our complex. We must remember that if our complexes are charged, that's affecting the number of electrons. So if something is positively charged, what have you done to the number of electrons? You've removed electrons, okay? So electrons are negatively charged. If something is cationic, that means we need to subtract. So if something has a charge of plus one, we need to subtract one from the electron count. If something has a charge of minus one, then we need to add one to the electron count. A carbonyl ligand is a two electron donor because there is a lone pair of electrons on the carbon and it is donating those in dative fashion. How many electron donor is a CP ligand? Five. So a CP ligand, unless you get specified otherwise, is five. Iron. Which group in the periodic table and therefore how many d electrons has iron got in a coordination, uh, in a complex? Okay, so iron is bringing eight to our electron count. A carbonyl ligand is a how many electron donor? How many of those do we have? Five. So we've got eight plus five times two is equal to 18. So cobalt, what group in the periodic table is cobalt in? Nine. Very good. OK, so cobalt is in group nine. A CP ligand is a how many electron donor? Five. So we have a CP ligand. How many of those do we have? Two times five plus 9 is 19. So the cobalt ligand is 9. Cp is 5. Carbonyl is 2 times 2. Good. Top that lot up and we get 18. So this is an 18 electron complex. And finally, we've got um, titanium. How many, what group is titanium in? 4. Uh, CO 
How many electrons does CO donate? Two. And what else do I need to include? The charge. So if there are, if it's two minus, what do I need to do to my count? You need to add two to the count. And if we add that lot together, what do we get? 18. 